what do we have here? Oh, look, it's kale. Some people like kale, not everybody. Can we stop with the kale propaganda? So uh, the question is, what if you worked for a restaurant and your job was to drive around this thing and you had to go through and do pickups for kale for this restaurant every day and you had to make a good choice on where the best options were to pick up the eight cases of kale that that restaurant needed. So you might think, hey, maybe we'll go to Field Fresh Produce. They sell kale. Uh, they're closest to the restaurant but they're the most expensive. And then maybe you're thinking, well, I don't know, I think we should go to uh, F&J Direct. F&J Direct has good kale. They have decent prices, but they can't really supply all eight cases. And maybe you're gonna go the furthest away, and that's gonna be to Produce R Us. Produce R Us has the least expensive prices. They're the furthest away though. Uh, and the problem with that is they can only provide two of the cases that uh, we need. So we need eight cases of kale. Produce RS can give us two. Uh, F&J Direct are a little more expensive, but they can actually provide five cases. And then the closest to us is Field Fresh Produce. Field Fresh Produce um, is closest. They're the most expensive. They can only provide four cases. So the question is, if you take into account travel time, the cost to go and pick it up, but also the cost per case, uh, what's the best option? So how do you optimize that situation so that when you go on a given day to pick up the eight cases of kale for the restaurant, you can actually do so uh, for the uh, least amount of total cost? So of course, everything doesn't revolve around kale. You might be picking up, uh, I don't know, maybe apples instead or maybe you're picking up oranges. Those are gonna be good. Or maybe you're not picking up anything at all. Maybe you're really talking about how do we minimize our costs if we're trying to clean up our waterway and we have four different techniques to clean up the waterway. Or what if we're trying to schedule employees and those employees wanna work certain numbers of hours on given days and we wanna make sure we have all the correct employees covering the shifts and not have any overlap because that's gonna save on costs. Or maybe you're trying to maximize your profit by deciding what to purchase from three different vendors uh, so that in the end you make the most money. So those are some of the questions that we'll talk about in this advanced math for decision making class. But of course, the other part of the class, which is the second half, is gonna throw in decision trees and probability because companies can't be guaranteed things are really gonna happen they kind of have to go through and say, well, if we have an 80% chance or a 90% chance, then we can make a decision that way. So it's not gonna be as simple as, hey, look, I've got an orange, or hey, here's a good looking apple. Maybe we have to go through and use probability to make decisions, and that's the uh, topics that we'll cover in this advanced uh, math uh, decision-making class. So uh, the thing about this math class, Advanced Math for Decision Making, is that it was written by college professors that are industrial engineers, uh, and they work as consultants uh, in the field of industry uh, around the world. Uh, so they wrote a set of questions that really go through and ask students, how do you maximize profit or minimize cost? And how do you go through and answer those hard questions but not with pencil and paper techniques, with spreadsheet technology. So the first half of the class, we'll do questions like that involving linear programming, but we use uh, either Excel or a Google Sheets for the spreadsheet program. The second half, uh, we do probability analysis and statistics to throw that into the mix to try to figure out how do companies make decisions uh, with actually calculating values and not just uh, going by a hunch. So uh, AMDM, which is how the course is referred to, uh, which stands for Advanced Math for Decision Making, uh, is a great class. Uh, kids uh, really enjoy it. Uh, and I hope uh, your uh, sons and daughters uh, have a good experience in the class. I'm pretty sure they will. Uh, who am I? Well, my name is Paul Bryce. I've been at San Diego Academy since the Academy started back in 96. Uh, before that, I taught at uh, DeGaneo for eight years. And before that, uh, two years in the Central Valley in Modesto. Uh, my wife was a teacher also at Oak Crest and La Costa Canyon, a math teacher, and uh, was a uh, guidance counselor at La Costa Canyon. She currently works at Cal State San Marcos with the uh, student teachers in that program. Uh, both of our sons uh, went to Oak Crest and San Diego. So I have a lot of knowledge about uh, all of that information and going to college. 
so if I can help you out with any questions you have, uh, please uh, let me know. Otherwise, I hope uh, we all have a very uh, productive and uh, enjoyable spring semester.